figure that out later. Yeah, I'm kind of figuring it. Well, I kind of want to do that right now with this. So we are live, continuing our bit on the repulsor and the heinous Rex. Uh, he's a lot faster than I am. He's uh, on that painting and sub-assembly stage. I'm on that. I'm still building a stage. Um, we're trying to figure out if we can do a little bit of a fancier situation. Oh, no. That's going to work. Click uh, that one right Okay, and then if you do one, two combos. Yeah, but see, this is going to be going for something else. The live is just still that yeah. one screen. Hey, we'll put it later. Yep. We'll make it happen later. Trying to give you all a little bit better video than normal. Yeah, we're playing around. We got a new webcam to move around and uh, see how that works. And we're trying to figure out how to do the picture in picture. And we're getting there. It's science. <laughs> Ugh. Ironically, science teacher. Ah, <laughs> uh, not me. No, me. You? Yeah, I mean, technically. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you know. Uh, my degree's not in education. <laughs> I mean, neither is mine. Neither is mine. But, you know, when people say science, they don't think animal husbandry. Eh, and then they realize, oh, yeah, I need to eat tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> people can uh, do a lot more without what I do versus what without with what you do. It's a little bit more important. Okay, what am I doing? I love the t-shirt. Uh, without agriculture, everybody would be naked and hungry. Yes, it's true. So, yeah. Make it like the Punisher cannon. Well, people always complain that there's not enough DACA on this guy. Yeah. We can give it some DACA. Uh, let's see. Is it magnetized yet? Oh, uh, that part doesn't have to be. Well, pressure I'm thinking this is a little bit more iconic. Yes, other side. Oh, wait a second. Look, GW, take notes. This should be the screenshot. Mm -hmm. Not enough DACA. <laughs> no, wait. It's got to be for my rear weaponry. Hold on there. Oh, the fist. See, that's what we should do is really magnetize one of these up. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I digress. Um, <laughs> daka, 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 daka. Yeah, the humans are starting to figure it out. Um, <laughs> so I'm at the part where I want to start painting, but I shouldn't. I know it's bad. What do you got left to do? Uh, I have the guy to do. Okay. So I got all the rear weaponry done last night. So now... On that rear pintle, mm -hmm. I can do the Icarus, which no one should ever use. The Icarus stubber and the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is where it's at. So that's oh, all absolutely. done. Um, oh, I'm popular. But I got to do the guy. Hmm. What you got? Very strange text message. Hello, sir. What can you tell me about CMAD? Hmm. Next question. What is CMAD? Uh, CMAD is computer mechanical aided drafting. So it's hand drawing but on a computer. So it's kind of like a CAD program? Or a CAD theory? theory? Well, it's not just a theory. It's just a name for a course. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, so CMAD is just the name of the course, but it's computer-aided mechanical drafting. So it's the basics of mechanical drafting just on a computer. Okay, so if y'all are what, trying to figure out what in the God's green earth I'm doing, I'm getting ready to work on the base for my night. So what I just did is I spread a bunch of Elmer's glue down, and this is play sand. Do you want big grit too, or do you just want all sand? Well, this is a uh, play sand, so it's a mixture of uh, real fine and small. Well, I got this stuff too. You may like, I don't know, it's, it's in your world. It's more like rocky stuff. Oh, yeah, this is for doing ballast on like uh, railroads. Railroads. Yeah. yeah. But I, I mix it in every now and then just to get some mm -hmm. more contrast. How's hey, it going? 
Hello. How's it going? Good. We are live in the world of building. Uh, awesome. And you got your cabinet project almost done, huh? Yes. All right, just for cleaning purposes, I'll leave, a, I'll leave this on some paper here, or some papers. Yeah, one of these days, we need to do a collab, like a collaborated video. Sure. Just so I can uh, mooch off of that sweet subscriber pool you got there. That'll be fine. One of these days, I got to get with you about some airplanes. Okay. Biggest problem now is that there's no place to fly them around here now. Yeah, because the only field that was behind the old county markets long gone. Yeah. Yeah, and then they had the one out there by Lakeshore Estates, and there's houses all over that now. So people are having to go to um, the West Bank, huh? To Mississippi or to the West Bank. Mississippi is actually closer. But it's almost to go for it. Then I saw a really nice field. It doesn't help us at all. Uh, in Gulfport, it was a gorgeous field. Uh, they had maybe enough for a runway, and the rest of it was all crops. I wonder if maybe uh, we could put, uh, fly like Cavendon Park, where it used to be kind of right there in Pearl River up by Jim's Feed Store. It's a bunch of soccer fields. Hmm, I don't know. You know. Days that nobody's playing, maybe they'll let us fly out of there. Well, you've flown with the sheriff's annex a few times. Yeah, but I'm so close to the airport, and the FAA is getting upset about that since we have the new laws. Got my license. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I've got a 107. <laughs> I'm going to step out and take care of a phone call quick. Okay. All right. The so, stream is yours. So. Okay, that was yours. Yeah. <laughs> just well, you know what we didn't do? I didn't hook up the other things. We can actually see the chat and do that real quick. Okay. So what I'm about to do is oh yeah. Give it, give it a little cup a little cup yeah like a little disposable cup yep I got sweet you. if you want something Glasses. smaller i've got smaller oh no this will work perfectly fine okay um, so i've got my grit and sand down Agua. what do you need water oh, water you got to go upstairs for that. Okay. That's the one thing we don't have in here. Be right back. Head of the stairs goes straight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to run through his basings and run through his painting, and I am still very much running through my build, which is fine. It's all fine. All right, cool. So this can go away from all the magnets. And I can set this up here so we can take a look at chat as it happens. All right, cool. Whew. All right. This All right, you good to go? Yep, I'm right. good to go. I'm going to make this call real quick. All right. So if I do, now that i got my grit and sand laid down, I want to bind it. But I need to bind it in such a manner that it will actually permeate everything. The problem is, if you try to use just glue, it doesn't flow, and if you thin your glue out, like I've just done 50-50 with water, it'll flow, but because of water's bonding effects with itself, it will take and just make bubbles or beads, and that displaces the sand, it doesn't look good. So what you got to do is you got to figure out how to cut the water or cut the surface tension. And the best thing for that is just simple isopropyl alcohol. So you use it as a wetting agent. So what I'm going to do, these are just some eyedroppers I got off eBay. I'm going to just pour some isopropyl alcohol on here.
You know, as you can see, it's wetting the sand. This will allow the water surface tension to get cut. So now I'm going to suck up some of my solution here. Looks weird, I know, but it'll work. Stir it up a little bit better. Well, as you can see, it's already flowing down in the cracks. So what I typically do is I'll focus on the perimeter first. Then I'll put it on the inside of it. And then I just let it dry. So I'm going to just set that aside. And let that dry. It creates a little bit of a mess, and I smell like isopropyl alcohol for a little bit, but it's not too bad. Where to put the lid? There it is. So, done with the isopropyl. Done with this. Done with those. All right, now to this guy. Oh. Uh, you um, saw in the last time Daniel and I were working, I got, I finished up the last little bit of it at my house and then everything got a base coating of flat black uh, spray paint. And then all the major armor components that were going to have a base silver, I went through and I airbrushed on a layer of lead belcher. Um, then I worked on this little guy. This is the cockpit cabin. Now, Daniel and I were joking around. He's like, oh, you didn't art coat the lenses, so it doesn't look like it's glass yet. Well, that's because I haven't cleared anything yet. This is all assembled so that I wanted to make sure everything fit right before I installed it into the cabin. So that's the next step there. And then I'll clear coating and then installing. <clears throat> this is the little guy and i forget his name now that comes with it so i'm working on painting him and the reason i went ahead and finished this guy up is i want to be able to look at this one and look at him and make them match back and forth <clears throat> so flat black i dry brushed on some dark reaper and then i edge highlighted some thunderhawk blue on here Went in and I painted, <clears throat> excuse me, the little bits that needed to be various colors. And now I'm going to slowly start adding depth to him. Um, I noticed I've missed a few buckles with the lead belcher. So I'm going to get in there and finish that up in a second. And then I'm going to work on the face because the face is probably the hardest of the details to do. So I'm going to work on that next. Try to get that finished up as soon as I finish getting everything else out of here. Oh, I got a little box I brought my paints in with, and now it's just a pan in the butt to get it out. This is the problem with one of these lots and lots of detail means lots and lots of different colors, means I had to bring a bunch with me. Okay. 
And where to put my cleaning rag? Uh, oh, there it is. Of course. Alrighty. So, like I said, I noticed I missed some buckles. Sides was working. But I want that to kind of show up there. individual is going to be pushing Reddit for the next one. And that'll be coming up real soon. And some talks with the uh, school board down in Warland. Alright, so just to show you some of the detail there. I just highlighted the buckles on the side of his legs there. And now I'm going to go um, start working on the face features. Uh, I personally do not like doing faces. Never really have liked doing faces. That's why almost every one of my Marines, if he can have a helmet, he's got a helmet. Just because it makes my life a lot easier. All right. So starting faces here. I'm going to face the face. Boy, that sounds bad. In Bugman Glow. So wherever I would expect to have skin on this model. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the uh, Bugman's Glow. Oops. Sorry about that. That was my wife calling me. I guess I'll have to text her in a second, see what she wanted. Sorry, this conversation is a little one-sided. Daniel had a phone call he had to go catch. Not too worried about the around the hairline because I will be painting his hair separately. All right, so that's Bugman Glow on his face. Oh, let's see what the wife wanted. Oh, let my know, my wife know that we're filming right now, and tell her she can text me. Alrighty. So that's Bugman's glow on him. Uh, I told Daniel about these little things, and so I brought them to show him. 3D printies. What's nice about them keeps me from tipping them over as easily. Uh, can you tip? Yes. Absolutely. You can still tip stuff over. But it makes it a lot harder. So those of y'all following along, this is Franklin, Franklin Flesh Shade that I am just washing over his face. And some people would yell and scream, oh, you're using too small of a brush. You just flop it on there and let it run. No, I don't. Uh, I don't particularly like it. And I like doing little thin coats. They dry quicker. So right now I'm done with him while I let that dry. And I'm going to move on to some of his uh, armor. For my keen-eyed observers, you'll notice I've already painted 
red on his armor pet uh, shoulder pad here. That's my fist on red. This is gonna be evil scarlet. Evil Sun Scarlet, yeah. Sorry about that. Oh no problem. The uh, Lafayette people were trying to get their courses in line with drafting and they Googled what is CNED and apparently the first thing was me and they decided to call me. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Uh, I'm not a doctor. But, I mean, heck, I'll take the pay raise. <laughs> hmm, we got a... What we got up there? It's just lagging a little bit on the upload side of things. Huh. That doesn't surprise me. Okay, Ryan, hey, going to paint a Canis Rex since it is his model. Ooh. See, we haven't got the chat on this side yet. Yeah. I've been looking for the chat. There it is. There it is. Just popped oh. up. How's it going, Ryan? Welcome, sir. You and your smartwatch distracted. Oh, my wife tried to call me in the middle of painting and talking. So. Oh, well, I'm back if you need to call her. Oh, no. She just told me, oh, I'm going to go get my haircut. 35 bucks. That's not bad. Oh, no. Uh, luckily, the young lady that does her haircuts is also a former student of mine. Convenient, convenient. So she cut. Are you painting right now? Yeah, this is the can. I am currently working on the little guy that comes with it, and I forget his name. Lord it's, something another. Is it Canis Rex? No, that's the name of the. Oh, that's the, the knight is Canis yeah. Rex, but okay, gotcha. Let's see. I'll tell you the guy's name. Give me one second. There it is. Not he does good. want the new Chaos Knights. Yeah, those new knights look pretty sick. Let's see, let's see. And you, you're in that position where you have the Chaos side and the Imperial side. What army don't you have right now, actually? Tor. It's H-E-K-H-T-U-R. Hector. Hector. It's like they're trying to get that Russian spit slime. Yeah. No offense, Russian. Well, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, uh, remember I told you they had a stat rule for his pistol? Mm -hmm. If Canis Rex is reduced to zero wounds but does not explode, set up Sir Hector within three inches before Canis Rex is removed. He is treated as a passenger disembarking from a damaged transport. Assuming he survived, Canis uh, Sir Hector then uses his own profile above and his own keywords below. He's armed with the Aerotech pistol. It's not considered dis no, the whole, the unit as a whole is not considered destroyed until and let's see here he has four wounds six inch move, strength three toughness three um, attacks three leadership nine save on a four plus not too terribly bad uh, it's not bad at all really his pistol has a fifteen inch range pistol what? one. <laughs> Strength five, AP neg to Dirty Harry. I think they put the wrong number on that kit there. That the box mag for the minigun. I would say that's number 52. This is actually number 50 because the mold is 50. Huh. Whoops. I need to order more to little rattle BBs. Yeah, well, you can order them. Those are stainless steel. Yeah. Go to Walmart. Go to them. Yeah, I'm going to order six millimeter ones next. Oh, yeah, you want the big boys. Yeah, no, no. Airsoft do not make stainless steel. Here. And for, um... uh, they might. I'll have to look at them. Hmm. Right. I'm in good where I... Yeah, that was a while ago. That was about 10 minutes ago. I wonder yeah. why the lag is so high. Don't know. They were doing the same stuff in the same place. What's my connection look like? My connection's full. 